Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I'm Joseph, and it's time for some uh, Gloomhaven Digital once again. It's been a while since the last time, and I am, I am sort of. Um, let's see. So the stream has started here. I think so. I think it has started. I think it's just a little bit of a delay, as usual. It, it, it's it's a uh, it does that. But yeah, it's been a while since I did some Gloomhaven Digital. But now they released, well, they released two updates since last time, since my last stream, when I just checked out the, the new character there. And now we have the Mind Thief, which is my favorite. That's my favorite mercenary from the board game. I think the Mind Thief is really cool with his abilities and this little vermin guy. Uh, really cool little character and, and really strong abilities as well. So let's see here if we can get just uh, I just hope that the sound is okay and everything is okay Please tell me in the live chat if there's any issues at all. I'll try to fix them as I go here And we are going to start a new adventure. We're gonna go for hard because They ch changed how that works. So if you go for the easy one It is way too easy. So hey Bjorn Yeah, Christmas has been good here uh, Been taking it very slow uh, not much energy at all, but um, it's time for some live streaming. I think we'll do the. Well, of course, we're gonna have the mind thief. Here he is, little guy. And uh, yeah, I hope you had a good uh, Christmas as well, Bjorn, with the family and all. And we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do the the brute, and then a third character, I guess. Well, here's the tinkerer. That's the one that was. New for me. I haven't played this in the board game. Hey, hey, Daniel Kurtz. Um, I think we'll just go with. I like the scoundrel. Scoundrel's good. So why not? And let's have it. Krakos mercenaries. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's a girl. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm excited to. Um, this time I I've been doing a few random streams, of course, since since the summer when I, I started playing this and you know when it came out. But now I'm going to do like weekly streams. So I'm not really sure. Maybe it would be a good idea to do them. Like I'm today I'm doing this so early because it's you know Christmas and all that. Maybe doing them like like Friday evenings or something like that. We could do weekly streams of Gloomhaven and actually try to progress and and you know get through this adventure from the start to finish because they have added also the second update i should mention except for the tinkerer well not the tinkerer except for the mind thief they added this is called the forest up, uh, update not really sure what that means but there's like new there's new enemies and so on uh, these enox i suppose we can go into the forest somehow i'm not really sure how that works but we start off now a new, few new things we should check out here at the beginning uh, they changed it so that the uh, well here's the skills as, as usual we have the X card here but then there's also perks so you we can click here now we have the perks over here we can do the attack modifiers and the passive attributes now we don't have any to start off with but that's really fun uh, that's really fun and yeah we're gonna we go also going to buy some equipment in wayward before we get started thank you for reminding me there because it is uh, they changed it so we don't start with any items and we, it was earlier that we clicked here to get see the items right um and here's the different perks and so on but uh, now we can just click here we can just click the actual hand and legs and so on so let's get into wayward here here and go to the uh, general store so let's see, the boots are nice. Hmm. We have 90. These goggles are nice as well. <laughs> Everything is good here, basically. What is this? Heather shield. When damaged by an attack, gain shield 1 for the attack. Okay. Add poison is good. I think for the scoundrel, I think we want movement really. 
think we want movement. So let's do the boots. There's also like another shop, right? There's also this one. Ah, okay, they have the same things there. So let's say the scoundrel gets the boots, right? Then... The brute should have boots as well. Because, you know, he... With his, um, he wants to move. Now the mine thief, though, might... Maybe the mine thief should have, like, the... The goggles. Let's see, that's 30. So we have 20 more. So we could go for like a... Could do like a poison daggers. And stamina pots, yeah. That is really good as well, the stamina pots. Maybe we should do some... Let's see, let's do... Let's do a... Let's actually get some, some healing. I guess. And... Let's, let's get one stamina here. So he can have a stamina. Then he can like get something back and yeah. So now we just wanna... And now I want more money because now there's actually fun stuff to buy. That was one of the issues earlier on in the earlier version that it wasn't really anything to buy. There's three, three scenarios here. Or three... Or two. And they're all medium now because, you know, playing a hard. It's kind of weird how they did it, but I think we're not going to go down here right away. We're going to move around a little bit. So, let's see. The marches has some merchants. Let's go here. And, yeah, okay. So, here we have some Enoch's guys and so on. And an encounter. Okay, so we walk through a wooded glade. Something is buried underground, under, um, in the undergrowth. Uh, closer inspection, we see that it's a body of an Enoch, face down on the ground. He's been dead for long. And we can look for something valuable on the corpse. We could take his boots. Let's do that. So we get <laughs> we get another set of boots. That's good. So let's see how does this work now with the boots and all. Did they remove? I think they removed durability, right? Um, yeah, it kind of looks like they removed the whole durability thing, which I really didn't like. So I hope they did, so that we don't, you know, the items don't don't break down. Uh, okay, and now we do this one. It looks kind of hard, to be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of lot of enemies here. I don't know how to handle that. We'll see. And I, I hope it's like a good amount of difficulty because like last time we tried a little bit uh, It was way too easy. Okay, so here's like the forest. I think this is what they were talking about That we're actually outside in this scenario. It's not just these dungeons all the time And no more durability. Yeah, that's awesome So let's see if we can remember it's been what is it like it's almost two years since I played the board game and back then, Mind Thief was my favorite, but let's see if we can remember how to play him again. So what does he have? Um, yeah, this is like you if they have negative effects, you get a stronger attack and so on. This is a ranged attack with disarm. That is not bad at all. Range 5, so... That's really good. So what would he do as well? Oh, that's burning the car though. He can go invisible. He can move and attack, but that's also... Let's see, force one enemy within range 5 to perform attack. Oh yeah, so that this is a good one. They're attacking each other. We can force them to move and so on. That's really nice. And the plague rats, I remember those. Those are pretty cool. That could be good to get out early as well, but we don't want to burn too many cards, I guess. So let's do these two. The 
Is it lag? I hope there's not. Wow, these meters are new as well. Like, uh, this did not look like this before. And there's a Vermling Scout, okay. Huh. So let's see, the Brute. I'm thinking he should start closer. There's a trap as well. And okay, yeah, there we see the... Well, there's like text actually now as well. I'm thinking, could we do... See, could we push, we could push this guy into the trap, I guess. What would we do for the main attack then? Of like the the top part, we could do the spare dagger. They really updated the the graphics and all. It looks amazing. Okay, they have. So is that preserve edge? An X card. Is that is that a good one? I think uh, I might have to check that out later on then. If I can change cards with mind thief. I don't recall all of this now. Oops. There we go. So, um, wow, they really changed up the graphics. So, like the point symbols, it all looks much nicer now. Let's do a ranged. And let's move and poison, I guess. So, if we move up here. Here and we poison that guy. Kind of harder to see now because of all the green vegetation around here. And then we have the attack going for him. It looks a lot better. It's just uh, it's gonna take a little while to get used to. Mine thief. We could do like this one, force him to attack this guy. And then we can attack him as well. Really done a job here on the Wow, like ice element created. It looks a lot better than it used to do. Wow. Okay, and now we'll go here and push this guy. Push him into the trap. There, and then we can do a spare dagger on him. We killed both the vermins, vermlings, vermings, I don't know. But these Enox guys are gonna be tough. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I was like, maybe that's not smart to burn a card this early. I don't really know what to expect here, how long the scenario will be or anything, but. It's so clear now to see what happens. Like, plus one there. Wow, what an update. It really looks a lot better. Okay, so... I guess we could do a double attack here. That's a tough one. Enox Guard Elite 10 health. Wow. See, if he moves up first, I mean, he has the stamina potion, he could get a card back. We could do like a trample. And then do a disarm, that's pretty good. So he's gonna be up there. And what is the Mind Thief doing? Huh. Hmm. 
Move three, attack one. It's a lot harder to see like how we can move as well. One, two, three. We can move three, attack one. We don't want to burn cart really. Then we can attack and get a wound on him. Maybe we should get the rats out actually. Oh cool, multiplayer. I look forward to multiplayer so we play this with some friends and so on. Should we get the rats out? That's a bit early maybe. Oh yes, yeah, that's a stun. That's pretty cool. But it's too far away though. We need to move closer first. So we could do move three attack. Yeah, okay, we could do this then. And she is, you know, pre she's not doing great, so I'm not sure if we're gonna stick around here. But of course, if we can stun the big guy, and she could hit. Hmm. Yeah, because she he will be adjacent, so we could do like this. I think this works out. They're gonna shield and attack with poison. Oh, that's not good. Wow, this is tough already. Okay, so move three. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's an obstacle. Wow. It's really hard to see here. We're not used to it. Ah, oh, so then he's not gonna be adjacent to an ally. That's bad. Okay, so Daniel is saying playing the mind's weakness. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to. Which one is that? Oh, this one. Oh, it's this. Oh, okay. So add on your melee attacks. Add plus two. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That is good. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just move up here then. But sadly, we can't attack because I I didn't I didn't see that was an obstacle there. It actually says there. Oh, we can actually click this to do the boots. Ooh, that's good because then we can move up here. Huh? That's so cool how they changed it up here. So then we can attack here for one. Plus two. That's good. Then we can attack and stun. So let's stun this big guy. Now we can see that he's stunned there as well. Wow. Yeah, they really did a job on the layout here and the looks of the game. Okay, so now the brute is gonna do his trample. One, two, three, four. That works. No, not like that. One, two. Okay. Why won't it? Why won't it let me click do a waypoint on the? There we go. There we go. Okay. Confirm movement. There we go. And attacks. Yeah. Okay. Why? Oh, he has. Okay, so he has retaliate too. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking damage there. Okay, I'm learning as I go here. But now we can disarm this archer up here, which will be annoying otherwise. There we go. So just one will attack back. Wow. What a change to the game in just, uh, what was it like? I think it's like a month or six weeks since I, I played this and they update a lot here. Okay, so now we can do this because now he is adjacent to my ally there. Good, 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 good. And attack three here. Plus two as well. 
and he has to retaliate, so that's that's kind of nasty. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, do we have any heals at all? I don't know. I don't think we have any characters with heals, right? That might have been a mistake here in the selection of characters. <laughs> he has some heal, okay. So he could... I think he has to do that. He has to heal, otherwise, yeah. So let's have him do a normal attack and then a heal, I guess. And let's get the mind's weakness going then. And also, what do we do? Yeah, don't want to burn the card, so let's move for four. We need to kill at least kill this big guy. And I don't want to burn cards, right? So attack three. Attack three should do it. And a loot should work there as well. So let's see, let's heal. Okay, if we can't heal her for some reason, is it because there's a guy in between? I guess there, uh, that's why. So let's do a normal attack here. And that's a miss and retaliate and all that. That's terrible. So let's heal him then. It's not uh, turning out as I was planning really, but... Wow, five damage. What is this? Okay, we're playing on hard, but I didn't expect it to be this hard, maybe. I don't know. But it's not fun if it's too easy, so. Okay. Oh, the heal was range one? Okay. Thought I read two, but okay. Okay, so mine's weakness. Let's do that. Oh, there's actually a, an attack involved there as well. So we move first, of course. So, like, can we see somehow that he's that this is active? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. The mind's weakness. On your melee attacks, add plus two. Okay, that's good. Well, now we need to heal up a bit because we're taking quite a beating here. But then again, we do have a healing pot for the mind thief. And he's poisoned as well, so let's do a long rest. Get rid of the poison. And you know we need to we just need to heal now. Because we're not it's not looking good. Let's just do some rests here. Maybe we should have killed that guy, I don't know. Yeah, that might have been smart. Wow, it feels like playing a totally different game from last time I played. Okay, so what do we get rid of? There's a heal. Mm, I like all of these basically. Let's get rid of flank and strike. And hmm, guess that one. It's like all the cards are more or less good. This is just a one attack, though. Let's get rid of that. 
I mean, we only killed a few. I mean, this is look. This looks like a long adventure as well. Okay, so that guy needs to die. So like a standard attack here, I think. Then we can do some movement. Yeah. This guy. Oh, he needs to heal for sure. Then he can kill the... Yeah, he could kill with that one. And let's heal and move, I guess. So, should we... We could get the rats out, but no, let's uh, let's do as I planned here. Let's attack here. It's a crit, even. We need that. And then let's use the potion. And move. Wow, this is really tough enemies. Come on. Wow. Yeah, let's move back. I wow, it's like going from uh... oh yeah, that's true. His attacks get stronger, but it's, this is like a totally different game. First of all, I have a hard time seeing where stuff are because it's like <laughs> it looks so different, and, and second of all, it's. Uh... It's way harder than playing the normal difficulty. Okay. What? Can he shoot through the wall? Isn't that a wall or something? I don't know. Yeah, well, it's fun with the challenge as long as it's not too hard. But like everybody was saying, my last stream, people were like, "Oh, it's too easy. You gotta go to the hard difficulty and all that." And it was kind of boring because it was too easy. Yeah. It's like when I play this uh, the board game, I played on easy level because I want to experience the thing. I don't want to keep doing the same. Scenario over and over, that is just the most boring thing I know. Okay, so do we have any, do we have any like, attacks that can hit multiple enemies? I don't know. This is a uh, target two. So that's pretty good. Range three. Okay, so she needs to move closer in that case. Hmm. Could use this to just move, maybe, and then throwing knives. But let's do that first. Oh yeah, okay. They can see the hex. I'm going to. I think I'm gonna go all. Just you know, I need to attack a lot. I think here. If you like, force one enemy to attack the the, the friend. Can move and just uh, muddle them. That wouldn't be bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's not enough. Even if we use the boots, there's only six. It's so hard to see these hexes. I think this update is nice looking, but it's kind of annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can he stand there? Yeah, he can. Wow, this is really tough to see here. So we could have him jump up all the way up there. The question is, will he be, will he survive that though? I don't think so. I think he's gonna die if we do that. This is actually nice as well when he gets to heal himself. 
kind of rather have that on than the extra damage maybe but now I have the damage on I don't want to switch now oh it's only if he ends his heck ends where he started that he gets the model okay oh then it's not that great so let's have them attack each other but what would we do with the he doesn't have like a ranged I mean, he's not supposed to be ranged. He's supposed to do the close-up attacks. I mean, this would be kind of good. If he moves up here, and then he will do a two attack. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. And this guy could... He could do like, he could hit more than one. So he could go one, two, three, four, and he could hit two of them. I guess that's good. What? When did he get, when did he get disarmed? Uh, I never saw that happening. So, okay, he can't attack. What is he supposed to do then? Well, we can still force them to, let's see, let's go back here. You can still do this and force them to attack each other. Wow, I didn't see him getting... That's annoying. He has, oh yeah, he has so many of these arguments. I remember that from the board game. Uh, it was like he's always having one of these active, really. So this gets him shield. I don't think I ever used this one for that. Hmm. Okay, so... Okay, so let's have him do this, but the question is, what does he do more than? Let's have him do... Okay, let's do this one just so he can do it early, I guess. Let's see how this goes. I'm probably just gonna die here, I guess. And I'm gonna have to go back and, and play normal again. <laughs> or something. So we can force, let's see, this guy... force him to attack him and that we don't do an attack ourselves which is you know kind of bad but no she will just move using this so that she gets in range here attack two I kind of remember it like that only use the mind weaknesses thing but also the one that he leech leeches life that's not a bad idea at all Especially since we don't really have any healer in the group. I think that's a, a mistake. We should, should have had someone that was better at healing. He's healing himself. Okay. And that's also annoying because now I can't move up there, right? I can move there, though. You know, let's do this as well. Let's use this potion to get... Get spare dagger back. I don't think we're gonna make this. Uh, we're taking so much damage, and now we got poison as well. Wow. Yes, what can we do here? I guess we can do a double attack. That's pretty good. I think we're gonna have to be aggressive. It's not like we have that many options. So... 
But this guy is just supposed to be hitting, right? Because he has... The whole point of having this mind's weakness here is supposed to be attacking with him. I don't like these arguments in, in, in one way because it's like one card that is stuck there. But I remember doing very, very good with this guy. So I guess I just need to find... Remember how to play him and he can do that. This must be a huge dungeon. I mean, look at the the meter here. Hmm. Okay, so attack here. Then move and attack. What? Why can't she move all of a sudden? Now I don't understand anything here. Is she... Okay, so she is immobilized from where? I have no idea. <laughs> what? So these guys are just like disarming, mobilizing and poisoning us. That's crazy. This is crazy hard. I mean, that's... When the game a month ago, that was kind of weird. That was kind of... Rare that a uh, enemy did that, right? And I, I liked it as it was. I liked it when you could choose every time you, you go for an adventure. Do I want to go for a hard or an easy one? Now you have to go. Now it's all the same. You have to go for a certain. I don't like that. Okay, so we can do one attack. Well, you know what? Let's do this then. Let's just move up here and attack both of these. Then he can move up there and attack. Wow, that wasn't much. Huh. Okay. Okay, so... Can we, can we pull through our friendlies? I'm not really sure if we can do that. That would have been nice if we can. Maybe they will be blocking, I don't know. Okay, no rats in this scenario then. But uh, we should remember the goggles here as well. So she's moving on six. Yeah, let's just hit this thing as hard as we can, right? We don't want to burn too many cards, that's the thing. And... Okay, let's just, let's just go with this. <laughs> see, how, see how that goes. So, Guard Elite, which is this guy. I'm gonna shield and attack, and he's gonna poison the guard, other guard. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay, so we can't move them. I was thinking we we're gonna move this guy over here, but we can't do that then. So if we grab him. Oh. Okay, so instead, we'll have to move for six. Then do a normal attack up here. And I remember that this guy has retaliate as well. Wow. Oh yeah, it's true. They're not gonna move this turn. Hmm. But I can I can stun him. So that's good. So then he's not going to do his attack. Now he's stunned, so that's going to be plus on the negative, right? 
She does retaliate though, that's kind of annoying. Need ranged attacks really against that guy. So let's see, can we kill the other one? That would be nice. Yeah, we can. Okay, so let's just kill the other one. And no attacks this turn. It actually shows when you get the XP as well. This is a really good update. Okay, so resting time. We also need to kill that guy. So can we kill him early? Let's see, 14. A normal attack should be enough, right? Because that should be four, unless we, you know, get unlucky. Yeah, so that should be that should be enough. The only problem is he's gonna retaliate, right? Oh, wow. Okay, so long. No, there's a long rest here. We get rid of the poison, and we need to short rest here. We can't long rest just in case. That, you know, there could be a miss. It's too dangerous to, to gamble. So let's try and heal and... Heal and attack, I guess. Move and attack, okay. The problem is he's gonna be retaliated. But I don't know how to get around that, to be honest. Hmm. So let's just let's just attack here. Should be enough. No oh, minus two. Come on. That's terrible. Oh, good thing that we didn't rest with all of them then. Because now she she can do her attack here, but she, she's gonna be retaliating anyway, right? Oh no, not when he dies. Okay. Oh. Ah. And we're not even halfway through according to the meter here and we're running out of cards and all that. <laughs> this is way too hard for me. Okay, what do we get rid of? Grab and go, maybe? Yeah. He gets rid of his poison. Hmm. Wait, is there a door somewhere? Wow, this is so hard to see. This is crazy how they, how did they plan this? It's a really cool idea with the forest, but okay, there's a door. Or is it? Yeah, that must be a door, right? Yeah. Wow, so so hard to see here. Okay, so we said, should we long? I think we're just gonna rest with everyone because we're not gonna make it in terms of health otherwise okay he can't even rest and he heal somehow yeah the blue lights I don't see any blue lights I mean that's blue lights but that's not the worst I don't know what you mean. There's no blue. That's a blue light in my opinion. What do you mean these thingies? Like. Oh yeah. Purple lights. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. So skip attack. And. Rid of that. And because I know there was some. Uh, some talks about that. That it was supposed to be some lights on the doors. But. This looks so different from earlier. Okay, so now we need to move. And, <laughs> you know, I don't think we're gonna make it, which kinda annoys me. I hate replaying stuff in games like this. That's the worst thing. So, you know, if it's gonna be that way, then I'm just gonna play normal. Let's see here. Uh, move. Yeah, okay, let's push and move. Ranged. Let's do something like this. 
So you start by opening the door basically. And you can move in here if I can. Yeah, there we go. I can push this guy. Is there any traps? No, there isn't. But let's push this guy. Okay, now I'm confused. Oh, there we go. And then he can range attack him. Nice, nice. Elite guard in here as well. Oh yeah, these guys are actually looting. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so this guy here, he the shaman is not gonna move, but he's gonna have a ranged attack. So, let's see, can we do something about that? And he is already activated. So, wow, it's so hard to see that that's an obstacle. Like, uh, if I zoom in, I see that it, you know, but. Uh, I don't like the graphics of this. I mean, I like it in some ways, but... <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. I like this in some ways, but at the same time, I think it's way too... muddly, whatever you want to call it. The, the graphics of this. It's so hard to see uh, where you can move. I would like to have this grid on all the time. Maybe I can do that somehow. In settings, can I do that? Um, I don't know. Graphics. Oh, I don't have like, oh. I don't have all the stuff at maximum here. For some reason. Okay, that kind of... Did that mess up the game? Wow. Okay. Um, shadows, skin weights, what's that? I have no idea. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to mess with this too much. It seems like I can't get, I increased the level of something at least. So, okay, let's push, let's attack this guy. And then we can push him. Okay. Kind of funny that the uh, the enemies are looting. It's annoying as well because <laughs> we need that gold. So now we could let's see. I have such a hard time deciding, seeing, okay, where can I go? How far is it? So that's three spaces. It's very hard to see, at least on my screen. <laughs> but I can move more. That That's an obstacle. That's an enemy. So I can't get through this part anyway. So in that case, let's see, I can use the boots. Yeah, okay, so let's move. Use the boots, so we can get there. Skip movement, attack with poison, come on. No, it's a miss. Ugh. At least the poison gets stuck there. I didn't think that happened. I thought you had to do at least one damage in order to apply an effect. Maybe that's some other game. <laughs> I don't know. No, four damage, come on. Okay, so scoundrel. She can't move through that guy anyway. He's not adjacent to an ally. I think target two is not bad. Maybe she can poison if she goes later. Can he? Uh, that's a stun. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Stun there. Uh, 
And a short rest here. And he has to jump though, so he could get out of here. Which would be kind of nice because it's crowded in here, but... Or actually, let's have him do this so he can double attack. We are going to need that. Okay, so let's stun this guy because he's like the most dangerous one, I think. And then nothing here, really. That's terrible to get this arm there. Wow. They have so many effects on them already. It's like the first. This is the first fight we're doing. <laughs> first scenario. I, I I would like it if it started out easy and then it ramped up. But it seems like oh you're gonna go for hard, then it's gonna be the same difficult level every mission. I think that's just boring. I don't like that setup at all. But let's see if we can. We can go for this guy in the back, if it can. And a miss. How lovely. So the disarm here is terrible because we would have been able to hit two of them. Yeah. And she can't really move anywhere because she's stuck in there because of that thingy and he's already poisoned so it's just yeah just skip the whole thing some enemies are not moving again i don't see how that matters right now what do you mean like the ones that are not attacking us right now Okay, so she, yeah, she can kill that guy for sure. That one over there. And again, I don't like this having one card being stuck up there. That means he has so few cards. Okay, so he needs to kill the one in front of him. Because he can't jump. It would have been so nice if he could have jumped. He can jump with this though. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should have him jump with that, yeah. Because it's so crowded in here, it's hard to actually do anything. So let's try this. Okay, so this is good. This should be good. Uh, four damage at least. And then the Pull could take this guy, just bring him closer here, I guess. Uh, I see what you're saying, Daniel, but I, I can't sit around uh, think too much uh, when you play like this in the live stream. Like, if when I play the board game, I plan everything out and look through everything, but that's like five, ten minutes of silence. <laughs> that's not exciting. <laughs> So let's go, let's go up here and kill this guy at least. Finally he got out of this um, crowded space there. But I know what you're saying, you're supposed to like plan depending on in which order they go. And depending on what they do. Uh, you can plan out so that you can avoid attacks and so on. Fin Finally a minus one at least. Okay, it's a brute. What can you do here? I was, I mean, this guy is gonna be so tough. I mean, maybe he should, I don't wanna burn the card, so. This is in a three attack, should be able to take up that. Okay, no, let's do this. Let's, let's do the move with the jump here. Cause I'm more worried about this Enox guy than those small creatures. 
Let's hope to get lucky here. No, we didn't. Okay. They're not doing that much damage, these uh, small vermin guys, though, so. But that's a crit. <laughs> that's not good at all. Wow. Uh, it's not good at all. I wonder why it says like round 14. What does that matter for? I don't know. Um, I can't redraw really with this low health. So, okay. Two targets here should be good and we can poison. This guy can... Yeah, this, he can do strong attack, he can force them to attack each other, that's good. Oh, wait, that's not ranged. The bottom is ranged. Hmm. But he could stun, he could stun this big guy. But he's not close enough though. That's the thing. He could... I mean, he could force the... There's no range there though, so he... I'm not really sure he can get them to attack each other, that's the thing. And he has to short rest, there's no... No way around it. I think we can manage this room, but I, I have a hard time seeing how we're gonna supposed to... Take care of one more room after this, that's gonna be really tough. Okay, let's, let's go with this, let's see how, how far it takes us. So the scout is gonna, he's just gonna loot, so we don't need to worry about him. These are gonna move and attack, they're gonna move one though, that's it. Range 5 to attack, range... But like, if we take him... What? No, 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 go back. <laughs> I was just trying stuff out. No. I was just trying. Oh. Okay. That was bad. I was just trying stuff out. I didn't even want him to. Okay. Well, I'm learning as I go here. This For me, it's like a new game. Because it's so different from what I played earlier. It was like easy to see where you moved. You had the monsters. You had everything visible. Now it looks a lot better, but also confusing. Okay, so you know what? Let's. Yeah. Let's move over here and poison this guy. Okay, so skip movement, poison him. Can we do that? The double click seems to be working just as before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, two targets, so let's go for these two. Confirm targets. No, minus two. Ah, oh, it's so unlucky here. Um, okay, so... Double attack or attack once. This guy is going to hit for three. He can't hit anyone though because it's too far away. So it's this one that we need to worry about. So we need to kill him. That's the thing. We need to kill him. Because, yeah. There we go. Okay, and then he can heal. Alright. So this guy is just going to loot. They don't have anything to loot, obviously. I like that we have this as well, so you can check what happened here. That's so good. That was something I missed there when the game launched. It was so annoying not to be able to see what happened. Especially since back then it was kind of hard to see what happened. So, let's get rid of that. And do these two. And we are running out of cards, that's the thing. But we can't long rest now. We just have to keep going now. So attack and 
move, I guess. And short rest, and he only has the two cards left, so. I think we're not gonna get anything if we fail, like mid mission. So he's gonna attack for range, range attack, or these two guys. The elite guy is gonna move, attack, and strengthen. So, I mean, stunning him would not be a bad idea at all. Let's do that. Sadly, we can't do this attack though. I think I want one. I think I should have played with the the spell weaver to get one more ranged and healer character, sort of. Maybe instead of this um, the close combat girl here, whatever the scoundrel. Well, she has some ranged attacks as well, but. I think I would have been preferred to play with the only thing with the spell weaver is the whole I have to keep track of her cards all the time so we don't kill her. Oh, we keep XP and gold. Oh, that's new in, in that case as well. Which, but it's good. I like it. Okay, so you know what? Let's just because we are running out of steam here. We need to just smash this guy. And that's a miss. Wonderful. When I burn a six card. Wow, this game is so... It's the same thing. It's always like this when I live stream. I get so unlucky with with the modifier decks. It's weird because it's, I, I do a lot better when I, I'm off cam. <laughs> and there goes the brute. And yeah, this isn't even the last room, right? So, And she's down for as well. So, Mind Thief can do one more thing, basically. Yeah, three melee, yeah, exactly. Okay, so he can do one more thing. And I guess that's just gonna be him moving up here. To see if we can kill this guy. Okay, now let's do this. So, goggles. Whoa! That's an XP at least. If that, if we get to keep it, I don't know. <laughs> Hey Brian, that, that tip is not going to work today. I'm not doing good at all. <laughs> but I'm trying to relearn the game because it's like so different now. Wow, we actually get some stats. That's new as well. Okay, so we killed 40, 21 enemies in the first scenario. That's just crazy. Wow. Um, got some gold. Got some XP. So let's see, do we get to keep anything now? That's the question. Because if it resets, then I'm just gonna be depressed. We'll see. So, yeah, we got to keep the XP at least. And we did get some gold, so okay. Then it wasn't for nothing, but wow, this is hard, come on. Medium difficulty and that was yeah, that was really hard. Wow, okay, let's see we can buy a um, So Let's buy a healing potion For her here And yeah, let's just try somewhere else <laughs> Okay, this is one scenario. Let's do this one. Okay, so here's okay. So back to some of guys that I recognize. <laughs> oh yeah, the lucky perks. I, I look forward to doing the perks. 
So are we going to take the boots? Let's take the boots. I don't think there was like a negative thing with taking that guy's boots. Uh, uh, well, except for the fact that we already have the boots, but I guess we can sell them. But there's no durability any anymore, which is awesome. I hate that durability thing. It's like I tried to load up to go to the second boss. I never, never managed to beat the second boss, like back in the summer. Because like I just burned through all my items before I got to the boss. Okay, so this is more familiar. Um, I like that it's, you can see who are elite as well here. Okay, so let's start off strong. Let's start off like I used to do in this game. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's start with a... Uh, where is it? A spare dagger and a trample. And I don't really have that much of... Uh, Attacking more than one at once, right? Again, where's the spell weaver when I need her? I guess I should... You know what? I'm gonna put on this thing right away. So he gets to heal himself when he hits people. Because that is nice. Then he can also... Do something else. What would that be? Um, yeah, ranged attack, why not? Okay. And she's just gonna go up. No, she's gonna go for this elite guy, I think. Because she has her strong attack there. And we're just gonna use this. Let's see, this as a move. Hey, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> dungeon is... I feel a lot more comfortable in the dungeon than in the jungle. Uh, for some reason. <laughs> Thanks for your input. Okay, so let's... Move up here. Smash this guy in the face. Wait the crate. Perfect. Getting lucky here. Then we're going to put on this thing. So he will start he healing himself and so on. And then we'll do a ranged attack on this guy so he doesn't do anything. Get the stun there. I love the stun effect. Just being able to constantly stun them is awesome. Okay, now we'll do the trample thing. It's early and all that, but I don't care. I just want to burn it early here. Because it's really strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. This always seems to be messing up here. Why can't I go? Let's see. One, two. Confirm movement. Why? Why does it need to confirm? What is the issue here? You go six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. Confirm attack. Oh yeah, I should. Have, I forgot about that. I'm gonna take a look at the X cards. I'm gonna. I have to do that later then. Uh, so let's see. Skip movement, and then he can ranged attack to this guy maybe. There we go. Yeah, okay, I'm not used to this, that you can click the boost there. It's kind of weird. But it's good at the same time if you can, you know, do it properly. Finally a miss. Thank you. Oh, four damage. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some good luck. But now let's do throwing knives and that attack. And this guy will do can move and heal and then strike there. He can do this thing where he hits all three of them, that's good. There we 
go. Getting some shield as well. So let's do the lower attack here, or the, the bottom part, and double click, come on. The ranged attack, these two, it's a miss. Ah. Uh. Okay, then move and heal. Skip movement, confirm action. And then attack. Okay, and Brute is gonna shield himself. And then attack all three of these. And by the way, uh, for everyone's watching, live or afterwards, there's still uh, two days to go on the uh, six damage. Come on, there's still there's still two days to go on the uh, four thousand subscribers giveaway. So go check out that video on the channel. You can win games, you can win promos and fun stuff, play mats and so on for games. If you join the giveaway, it's very easy to do. Go check that out. Okay, so she's almost dead, and this guy wow, that's terrible. Oh, she can heal, and I guess she's just gonna heal and move actually. I don't want her to die. <laughs> and he has a potion. I mean, he could do something like, yeah, he could attack and wound. That's pretty good as well. And he could disarm, which wouldn't be bad. But what would he do as he slower action then? I could heal. Yeah. We're just going to have to play a bit careful here. Few days to go on six damage, exactly, Brian. Uh, <laughs> you got it right. Plus two, come on. Not enough, though. Yes, a miss. That was important. That was really important keep this guy alive should maybe she should just try to take out the elite guy actually because you can do this she can uh, you can do this just to poison him and then do this Let's skip the movement and that's a two attack with poison yeah that was enough okay So now we do a, okay, so let's do this, let's wound here, yep, because he will heal himself, that's so good that he's healing himself while he's attacking, love it. So nothing happens because he has armor, but now he's wounded, so now we get plus one attack because he has a, a, sta a negative status effect on him. And healing again, of course. There we go, perfect. 
Perfect, okay. Five damage! Wow! I hate you archers. Way too much damage. That arrow on a brute. Okay. So, I mean, every room feels like a boss now, basically. This crazy, super, uh, super hard level, <laughs> whatever it is. So weird. I don't understand why this is so hard all of a sudden. Um, let's do that. He's about to die, basically. Which is not okay. We can't have him die in the first room. These rooms, I used to just, you know, go through them. And I must say that that was a lot more fun. This just feels like a constant struggle to not die, sort of. Which some people think is fun, but for me, I'm more about just, you know, experiencing the, the, the journey and all that in this game. But then again, there's no story in this setting, so there's no journey to experience. It's all about just tactical combat. I can't wait until the actual release of the game where you get the story because that's where the game shines in my opinion. Okay, so he's shielding himself and attacking. And he has poison of course. Uh, yeah, they're so strong. They have like all these status effects that they didn't used to have. It's crazy. Uh, I think, you know what, let's, let's heal. Get rid of the poison, at least. And let's put these rats out here. Why not? <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. Plague rat. <laughs> and then let's move over here. Oh, they got a miss. Okay. You can do this. Get the spread dagger back. So, let's see. I think he needs to do a strong attack here because he's not going to survive for that long. And even, ah, oh, that wasn't enough. It's crazy. Okay, so short rest. It's like, I, ha I can't redraw because they're so damaged. Uh, she needs to do this here. And that. Okay. So let's have her do this. And then throwing knives. The plague rat is doing his thing. He's poisoning, which is awesome. Love it. Let's move four up here. If it can confirm that, come on, there we go. Then do an attack. Which will heal him. And plus two, perfect, okay. We survived the first room, but as it, look, it looks up here, it's supposed to be one more room, right? So let's see. Guess we will do long rests, I assume. Three long rests, why not? And yeah, I like throwing knives, so I'm gonna keep that. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think invisible is gonna be a thing right now. It's like the mind thief is gonna take the lead now because he can heal at least when he's fighting. So it's kind of weird, but it's, it looks like that's how we have to do this. She could do like a throwing knives and moving five. Yeah. And... He can only heal himself though. That's jumping, so that's good. Then he can do like a, a real long ranged attack there. This guy's just gonna, you know, I don't know. Can't really move that far, so let's have him heal himself. Okay, so move five. Let's open the door and see what's in there. That's not too bad. There's two traps there though. And if you do the double attack there. And the brute will have to heal himself. Wow, that's a lot of damage though. I can burn a card. Yes, plus one. Perfect. Love that. Okay. There's only one enemy. But he's fairly strong because he's strengthened as well. So let's see if we can... She can't really move though. The thing. I guess she has to heal herself because she's, <laughs> she's about to die. So yeah, she has to heal herself. This guy can attack. And he can push as well. That's pretty good. He can attack and push and attack and wound. So that should be enough to take care of that guy. I'm going to try this. It's going to ranged attack actually. It's weird. So let's see if. Yeah, he's adjacent to the ally and all that, so this should do it. See? No. One away. They're gonna have to go like because it's so it's so thin, uh, so narrow here in the doorway, so they can't all stand there. So. Uh, okay. Push into the trap. Nice. And he can't attack, of course. There's nothing to attack. And now the rat is not moving at all because there's no enemies. Just standing still. So let's have this guy move up here. Not opening the door, obviously. He can move and go invisible, maybe. That could be a thing. I mean, she should go invisible, because then her next attack will be stronger, so... Okay, so... Move and open the door. And use the boots, get the treasure, then go invisible, 
to her one health. <laughs> Nice. There's a lot of traps in here as well. Okay, so let's see. He could attack these. They're all ranged though, that's the thing. They're protected by the traps. So that's quite annoying. But he could stun one of them at least. Remember, he's healing himself when he's attacking, so as long as he's attacking, basically, he can keep going. And he can be really strong with this combo. So that's stun, that's good. And he will just walk up here. Can't really do that much though. Oh wait, you could use could have used the boots, I guess. Ow, three damage. Yeah, this is gonna be bad here. They're all attacking the minefield as well. well. That's a miss at least. <laughs> at least a little bit of luck. So now she needs to short rest, and now her next attack will be will be stronger, right? Let's have her take off. Let's see, can she jump? I don't think she can jump. That's the thing. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. In that case, maybe throwing knives. I don't think they are going to be boosted. I think the Let's see, what does this say? Her uh, invisibility says that on your next attack while invisible, double the value of the attack. Okay, it doesn't say it has to be a, a close combat attack, so in that case we can do throwing knife. And she can move and poison. Yeah, okay. And a short rest here. Uh, we just gotta kill these guys basically. We don't have to be so careful now. Well, we can't because you know it's <laughs> time is running out. And then we can force them to attack each other. That's good. And the brute is gonna have to short rest. Then he has gonna have to do his strongest thing he has basically. Mm, attack four with a stun. Yeah, that's good. Gonna have to move up there. Okay, that this could work out actually. We'll see how it goes. Let's see, move attack. They're gonna create. Oh, they're gonna create traps. Wow, it's gonna be so many traps in here. <laughs> okay. So let's do. Let's do this. Let's see, that's range three. So you know what? She can move first. Because that will if she moves up here, this will poison this guy. And then when she does her ranged attack, well we at least have a chance of killing him. Oh, minus two, okay. Well, that's a lot of damage dealt out anyway. Now they're gonna kill her here. We just have to burn cards now, there's nothing to do about it. To stay alive. Here comes the traps as well. A well, mind thief can heal at least. Oh, that's not good. That's a trap in the way of the brute. Wow. So the brute cannot move in here now that I, like I was planning to. They are just surrounding themselves with traps, which is terrible. It's a three damage trap. Okay. 
I don't see it. I, I think he, he's going to have to go anyway. How are we going to solve this otherwise? I mean, if he uses the boots, he can go up here. I don't see any way around it. He's going to take some damage, but... but he has to, we just have to kill these guys. Before all of our heroes are dead. <laughs> the plague rat is slowly coming here. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see, attack here. That's gonna heal. And then you can force this guy to attack that guy, right? What? Well, this guy already has ranged attack of four, so... Ah, okay, you can shoot over there. Oh, that's nice. Then we don't need to worry about the traps there. I like that. With the mine thief. Okay, so now she needs to short rest and she's kind of, you know... No, not throwing knives. That's her only attack she could have done, really. Because she's, she's in between two traps, so... She's not gonna be... Oh, she can heal herself, actually. Okay, short rest here. There. And he has a spare dagger though. So that's kind of good. Can move and throw the dagger. The only thing she can do really is to heal herself. Because of those uh, traps around her. Um, I, I think she's gonna have to, no, let's not move, let's just stay here. At least she can soak up some attacks, I think. So let's see here, it could be, it could be that it comes down to, yeah, that's, that elite archer, that's gonna be the, the end thing here, and the rat is moving on. Okay, so can you take out this one somehow? How would you do that? Okay, so this is interesting. He's gonna move like this. But I can't get this to work good. What is the problem with these when I'm trying to do these things? Wow, it's annoying. One, no, not over there. I didn't put push that. That's one. That's two. That's three. And escape movement, no. Wow, this game is annoying. Are you kidding me? Now I can't move at all. Ah, come on. Ah, it's alpha, I know, I know. That is really annoying. Didn't work as it's in intended to. Wow, if I lose now, that's like game breaking. Then I'm just gonna quit. Why did it do that? <sighs> that that's, sort of, that's the kind of thing that just, you know, makes me not wanna play the game. Um, yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna lose now. And it's all because I couldn't move like it's intended to. Because like he can't get over here because there's a, there's a trap in the way. Oh. Well, I guess he can get over there if... Yeah, I guess he can get over there if I use... If I get rid of a card. So if I do it like this...
But now we can move here. Again, this movement, they really need to fix this movement thingy because this is so annoying. It's, it's not working as intended. I think it actually was better. Yeah, that, just, just the movement part. The other parts are better in this uh, version, but the, the movement part was better earlier on. Before they made this whole big glowy thing that's really hard to navigate. Okay, so she's long resting. And yeah, I have to get rid of a card, which yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> we're gonna lose because of that, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because he, yeah, we're gonna lose because of that thingy. One attack away, and it would have worked. Okay. Those things just. Ah, oh, so annoying. I mean, this game is hard as it is. And I'm missing. I need a ranged attacker. Uh, it's not working out having this party, really. Because it gets so crowded in doorways uh, that doesn't really work. And also, less. It's, it's way too few. We need more healing. Uh, we need more healing spells and all that. So, um, and I mean, looking at this is how hard it is at the first scenarios to just get out of the starting city. How hard is it going to be on the bosses, right? <laughs> so this is silly. So I am going to uh, quit it there. Um, sort of got out of the mood to play this game uh, because of some uh, errors, issues. Um, but I'll be back. I'll be back with a new party with the spell weaver so we get some range and some healing and You know, so it's more fun because this wasn't really that fun It just feels like it's down to just you know growing the right modifier that determines if I'm gonna Lose the whole thing or if I'm gonna win the whole scenario So I'd rather play on easier and just you know have fun have a casual time uh, in the live stream. So That's it. That's Go into the main menu and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> it was it was a frustrating game uh, to play, but I hope somehow you had fun watching anyway. And uh, yeah, we're we'll back with more content, of course, coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye.